let's see how to duplicate a Shopify product. So just click on the product that you want to duplicate. And I'm going to select this one. And up here, you can just click on duplicate. And you can change the title to match the new product. And you can select the items that you want to. And I'll just select even the inventory quantities. You can also check that, but I'm going to uncheck that. And then product status, of course, we want to set this to active. I'm just going to click on duplicate product. And as such, the product has been duplicated. So if you come here under all our products, let's see if it's available. Let's come here under all products. And you're going to see that the product has been duplicated. Let's go and edit it. And we can add an image. So once you duplicate the product, ensure that you add the media once again, and then come down here and see which items will need to be updated. The stock, you can update that. All the other, all the other features of the variations, you can update that as well. And for this, let me change the black. Let me add the black colors. So I'm going to select black, add image of black, give the image of black to that, and then the white ones. I will come here, add the image for the white ones, white, and then finally the red one, add image for the red one, save, And if we refresh, you're going to see the product is now showing up there. And if you need to change the prices or anything else, you can do that. So one thing I can notice here is that some of my product images, they are not aligning. So what you need to do is make sure that all your images are of the same proportion. So if the height is 900 pixels, make sure that all the images you use in your shop are 900 pixels you can edit them and there are lots of free editing tools that you can use and on windows or on linux i usually use gimp it's kind of once you learn how to use it you're going to love it because it's free and you can use it on any platform let's see which platforms it's available for so is a cross platform or tool for windows Mac and Linux. So it's free for all these platforms. It's very powerful. You can use it. Just learn how to use it. It's not that difficult. Okay, so that's it for this video.